Well, hello, and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your twice-weekly dose of the finest 2A propaganda. Your husband or your guns. That's the choice a Florida woman was given in court after her husband accepted a plea deal for shooting up a neighbor's home during a drug-fueled paranoid crisis. After a workplace injury, he got addicted to opiates, and last year he became convinced several people were trying to harm his family, and he discharged multiple pistol rounds towards his neighbor's home. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but he did damage some property. He accepted probation and drug treatment in lieu of prison, but at sentencing, the judge told his wife she would have to give up all of her guns as well. Should a man like this be trusted with a gun? Well... I think a better question is, if he can't be trusted with a gun, why should we trust him with blunt objects and pool chemicals and stabby things? I'll grant that he may be dangerous, but if he is too dangerous to have a gun, then he's too dangerous to have a car or a chainsaw. Maybe inpatient treatment is a better option, but regardless of whether he has the right to bear arms after the choices he made, his wife's rights should not be infringed when she didn't do anything wrong. At the very least, she ought to be allowed to keep her guns in a safe which he doesn't have access to. What do you folks think? Was this fair? If you want to tell Judge Shannon McPhee how stupid this decision was, you can reach him at 941-637-2375. But it would be impossible for us to produce quality two-way propaganda without sponsors. So let's pay some bills. Today's video is sponsored by Vault Pro, proudly manufacturing the finest American-made safes, vault doors, safe rooms, and storm shelters. And by Double Black. Double Black's all-American-made 416R stainless barrels are threaded half by 28 and are button-rifled at 1 in 10 twist so you can shoot cast, plated, or jacketed ammo. They're ready to use with no hand fitting required and a thread protector is included. And from the genius that created Bushmaster Firearms comes the Hydra Mark 15, the ultimate weapon platform. Modular, versatile, and mission-driven, the Hydra Mark 15 quick and easy caliber changes give you a whole lot of options without costing a whole lot of money. Well, those heroes of the ATF saved us all from a dangerous man who had a gun. No, he wasn't out criming, he just had the misfortune of getting stopped by a traffic cop in Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana. Dwight Culver was sentenced to almost six years in prison because he had a firearm and was a prohibited possessor due to a decade-old conviction for the devil's lettuce. Oh, and that six years is after a plea deal, so no telling how long they wanted him to rot. Involuntary manslaughter carries a sentence of up to six years in Indiana, by the way. People do less time for robbery, arson, and kidnapping. Are we really saying that simply having a gun is more dangerous than actually hurting people? Good thing those heroes at the AFT are out there fighting crime and not wasting their time on frivolous things like busting human trafficking rings. The Empire State strikes back. New York is trying to pass a law requiring background checks for 3D printers, and I don't think they gave it the slightest bit of thought. It only applies to retailers within the state of New York, not to buyers. So you could buy a 3D printer on the interwebs or out of state and bring it back, or you could buy one secondhand from a private seller, or criminals could have their girlfriend with a clean record buy the printer, just like they do with straw sales for firearms. Uh, for that matter, you could build your own printer. From what I understand, building a 3D printer is arguably easier than building a gun from 3D printed parts. And I'm not sure how they intend to execute the background check, but if it involves NICs, that would be illegal. And the law gives them over two weeks to process the background check, which means you can bet the faceless bureaucrats running these checks will use most of that time. That is not going to be popular with the folks in the maker community, because remember, Everyone who buys a 3D printer is going to have to do a background check regardless of what they plan on making with their printer. Oh, and the definition they use covers CNC machines as well. Or really, anything that can produce a 3D object from a file. It is dummy simple to build a shotgun from plumbing pipe, and people have bolted together AR lowers from aluminum plates or even carved them out of wood. So 
This bill can't stop anybody from getting a printer, but it will harass and inconvenience a lot of normies who wouldn't otherwise care about government overreach. We are going to keep building guns at home, and there is nothing they can do to stop it. Tay Tay, go ahead and roll the obligatory serenity clip. Can't stop the signal now. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is promising to repeal the ATF rules on bumpy boys and pistol braces if he is elected president. Trump did bump stock and Biden is doing pistol brace. Those are both unconstitutional. I wonder if we could get the other Republican candidates to promise to do the same. I don't want to tell you who to vote for, but any candidate who is unwilling to put the ATF in their place and eliminate these arbitrary and unconstitutional rules does not deserve your support. On the other hand, his promise rings somewhat hollow given Florida has its own bumpy boy ban and to the best of my knowledge, DeSantis has done nothing whatsoever to repeal it. Or the red flag law signed by his predecessor. I mean, I'll take apathy and indifference over malignant aggression any day. Even empty promises to repeal these infringements are better than actively working to impose them against us. What do you think? Would you ever vote for someone who advocated for gun control? And now, for your moment of zen. Holy. Hey friends, do you like pews and other pew-related things? Would you like to help us keep delivering you pure uncut American propaganda at the low, low price of free 99? <laughs> we literally couldn't pay the bills without our sponsors, so do us a solid and get yourself something nice from them. You deserve it. I love you. <laughs>